what we did was we took two what we would refer to dormitory rooms uh, as we find them in any one of the, the thousands of dormitory rooms we have here in the New England area and put similar furniture in, in both rooms, bedding, uh, computers, anything that we'd find in a, a dorm room in, uh, in any college. And we started a fire with using the same material and let it grow at the, at the same rate. And the only difference between the two rooms, one was protected with uh, what was referred to as an intermescent paint. The paint uh, causes it to uh, bubble up and basically will buy the fire service time to uh, respond to an incident. In this case here, we had uh, detection equipment in the room. Uh, all the detectors went off within a, a two to three minute time period. And what we saw even you know six, seven minutes into the fire, that these were still survivable fires. That the, the, the students or whoever was in these rooms could have gotten out. Uh, the, the system would have uh, notified them. They would have heard it. They would have been able to respond to it and got out. And in the timeline that it would have taken a, a fire department to respond, uh, the building on the I right here would have uh, would have still, you know, had a, a chance of being kept at just one room. The, the, the room on the other side that would, did not have the protection would have uh, would have probably spread to at least a room on either side and even traveled the hallway. So we would have been standing way behind the eight ball trying to put out this fire. You can see that you know that the you know the fire that sat in the corner in the in the room on the right, it, it didn't it didn't breach into the wall. The wall stayed intact. It actually you can see the you know the intermescent paint working. It bubbled up, and it kept the heat from transferring to the combustible wood inside the wall. And by doing that, it just it just whatever was burning just sat there.